So my talk is on uh, bioprinting. Um, the title of the talk is Bioprinting, the Impacts to Human Health, uh, Medical Research, Human Hunger, Food Production, and the Environment. That's quite, uh, quite a lot of areas for something um, that one would not think would impact those areas. But I'm going to try to describe um, what bioprinting is and uh, the future impacts of this technology on a lot of things that uh, haven't changed in quite a long time. So uh, the, uh, I'll start with saying that bioprinting is a revolutionary process that will change many areas of our lives that have not seen change in a very long time. Uh, bioprinting is able to provide new methods of addressing the loss, of, loss or damage of human uh, tissues, limbs, and organs. And you can see an example of uh, some things were printed out. And the, the heart that you see in that uh, photo is still a um, still out in the future, but essentially when the technology has fully matured, that's basically what you'll be able to, to print out, a, a fully, fully formed human heart, uh, adult human heart, and in fact, any size uh, for any, uh, any age of um, uh, a human being, a, a child or an adult. So bioprinting is a very complex process, but I can pretty much break it down into four components. Um, and they are basically, uh, it starts with the donor of the cell. Uh, so the person that will receive the tissue, the organ or the limb will donate their own cells that will be grown in culture. Um, specifically, it's important to understand that um, our limbs and organs and tissues are made of more than one different cell type. In fact, there are over 200 distinct cell types in our bodies. 